In our KX in the Classroom series, we're talking about some ways that your child can help sock away some money for college. Today, we're talking about putting in for scholarships. KX News' Mary Gutenkoff tells us more. Applying for a college scholarship isn't exactly easy. Many high school students can find the process to be difficult and overwhelming. And that paperwork often starts with an essay. The good news is that high school teachers say you don't have to wait to start writing. You always want to have at least one or two different essays waiting kind of in the wings and most of the time they follow like a five paragraph type of essay style, a format. And so you can do anything from your high school experiences to maybe something a little bit more personal, just something that's going to make you stand out. Courtney Hartlib, who teaches English at Legacy High, says the essay is a chance for you to showcase yourself and what makes you deserving of the money. That can include sports or clubs you're part of or ways you've helped out in the community. Have multiple people read it. More, the more eyes, the better. That way you have someone else who's experiencing it with you while they are also reading it. And I think that just starting early, as much as it kind of stinks to have to uh, you know, start writing this early, it's only July, but it's, it's a good practice because this is going to possibly determine like what school you go to. Timing is everything with scholarships, and many of them are due at the start of the school year. That's why it's best not to wait until the last minute. And Hartlib says once you have a draft written, ask for feedback from friends and family. One helpful tool is a record, such as an Excel spreadsheet, to keep track of which scholarships you've applied for. Counselors say another valuable piece of paper to ask for now is a letter of recommendation. If you ask individuals to write letters of recommendation, it's great to ask if they will let you save that on a PDF or save that um, on a file. A jump drive can be nice and handy because that will allow you to reuse that letter of recommendation because sometimes um, it can be daunting to ask an individual to write six scholarships uh, letters of recommendations and so maybe you can reuse some of those letters of recommendations. Karen Erickson with Bismarck State says don't forget to say thank you preferably in a note to someone who wrote you that letter of recommendation. It could be the favor that helps you gain thousands of dollars for school. Reporting for KX News, I'm Mary Gutenkoff. If you're after a scholarship but simply don't know where to look, Hartlib says one great place to find local scholarships is the Bank of North Dakota website. If you would like to check that out, you can find the link with more information at kxnet.com.